I used to colour my hair way back in the day when I was younger, not very successfully, I might add. <laughs> but then I started back at the hairdresser and the hairdresser's been doing it for me ever since. Um, I think me being impatient um, and actually not taking the time and maybe researching the correct colour was probably the biggest thing. And so I'd just look at a colour and think that's what I needed to put on my hair but it wouldn't necessarily um, go with my skin tone. And so then I blamed it on the colour and not on myself for <laughs> choosing the wrong colour. I feel like I need to do it myself because I, one, I'm going to the hairdresser a lot. Um, two, I want to know what I'm putting into my hair. Um, and three, I, you know, I'm getting older, I'm having to dye my hair more often and, and taking that responsibility on myself and giving it a go and see if I can do it properly this time. I actually found the product really good to use because it, it was more, it was like a gel, so it didn't go all over my face, it was easy, easy to get through, there was no dropping of product anywhere. So if you're doing it at home and you're worried about staining anything, I didn't have any concerns with that. And just a lot easier to get through all of my hair, because I've got a lot of hair. So no, it was good, great product. I really enjoyed doing that. It was actually a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be. It's more natural looking. It's not all really, really dark. It's picked up, it's kept some of my natural color through it. Um, it's covered the grays, which I'm wanting. So definitely we'll do it again.